This display shows the SIMS Climate Digest for the Northern Hemisphere Autumn, featuring highlights from the U.S. and global analysis products issued by NOAA. The Climate Digest conveys a visual interpretation of weather and climate conditions on a seasonal basis. The September through November 2016 seasonal global land and ocean surface temperature was 1.39 degrees Fahrenheit above the 20th century average of 57.1 degrees, the second highest temperature departure from average for these months in the 1880 to 2016 record. Across the world's oceans, the September through November average sea surface temperature was 1.26 degrees Fahrenheit above the 20th century average, also the second highest on record. In this data set of sea surface temperature anomalies from September through November, blue colors indicate cooler than normal ocean temperatures, and red indicates warmer than normal. La Nina conditions were present at the end of the season, but NOAA's Climate Prediction Center forecasts a transition to neutral conditions over the winter. The contiguous U.S. average temperature for September to November was 57.6 degrees Fahrenheit, the warmest autumn period on record across the U.S. for the second consecutive year. The states of Colorado, Iowa, Kansas, Michigan, Minnesota, New Mexico, Texas, and Wisconsin all experienced record warm autumns. 27 other states had their second or third warmest autumn on record. Precipitation was near the middle of the record nationally, with wet extremes in the northwest and dry extremes in the central Rockies, Gulf Coast region, and interior southeast. According to the U.S. Drought Monitor, drought was resurgent during fall 2016, especially in the southeast. The contiguous U.S. drought footprint expanded from 19.5% to 31.5%, Three notable tropical cyclones occurred during the fall of 2016. Hurricane Hermine made landfall on the Florida Panhandle on September 2nd, the first landfall in that state since 2005, causing at least five fatalities. In October, Hurricane Matthew became the first Category 5 hurricane in the Atlantic Basin since 2007. Matthew devastated parts of Haiti, Cuba, and the Bahamas before raking the east coast of Florida and briefly making landfall in South Carolina on October 8th. Matthew caused 46 deaths in the U.S. and an estimated 1,000 deaths in Haiti. Finally, in November, record-setting Hurricane Otto came on shore in Nicaragua on Thanksgiving Day or November 24th before crossing Central America and emerging into the Pacific Basin. Over a dozen deaths have been attributed to Otto. The global weather patterns predicted for the months of January through March resemble those of a typical La Nina event. Regions in the northern United States and southern Canada are forecast to be both cooler and wetter than normal. Warmer and drier conditions are predicted for the southern United States. Globally, regions of northern South America and the Philippines are expected to be wetter than normal. As with previous seasonal forecast, there is a better than 60% chance of above normal temperatures for northern South America, Africa, and countries of South Asia. And that's your Fall 2016 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.